Hi guys, I have before me three spectrums. It looks like four, but one is just a keyboard. I have been meaning to get on with a project involving these spectrums for quite some time now, and this being the 30th anniversary of the spectrum, I thought, what better time to start? Now, just to explain the situation, I wanted a 48 key rubber keyboard spectrum, like the one I had when I was much younger and couldn't find one anywhere. I did however have a 48 key Spectrum Plus. Never liked the keyboard on that one. It's just, to me, it's just not a Spectrum. The, um, then on eBay I discovered a 16 key rubber keyboard Spectrum. This one here. And I thought while I'm waiting on getting an actual 48K rubber keyboard Spectrum, I will transfer the 48K motherboard from the Plus and put it into the 16K casing. And then take the 16K motherboard out and put that into the Plus for the meantime. Which has worked up until now, except I've had to have the Plus reset button dangling out the back, which isn't exactly ideal. But not so long ago I found a 48 key Spectrum with a rubber keyboard on eBay. The print, the white print section is absolutely pristine on this, which is quite rare. And on the 16 key it's worn off, but the escutcheon, which is this metal overlay over the keys, is in okay condition, very good condition. But the escutcheon on this keyboard, which I also found on eBay, is in pristine condition. Absolutely perfect, as is the keyboard. But again, the print's worn off. So, the project is this. What I hope to do is end up, at the end of the day, with a fully working rubber keyboard 48K Spectrum in pristine condition, fully restored by me. And a fully working, good conditioned 16K Spectrum, because I'm going to put the original motherboard back into this, and then put the plus 48K motherboard back into the plus, and have the fully working 48K Spectrum Plus again. So, I will end up with a fully working 48K rubber keyboard Spectrum, 16K rubber keyboard Spectrum, and the Spectrum Plus. The 48K Spectrum is for me. I'm keeping that. And I hope to restore it to its former glory. The 16K Spectrum and the 48K Plus will both be going on eBay as a job lot. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as power supplies and leads are concerned yet. We're just going to have to wait and see, but I hope to include as much in the patch as possible. But as you can see, the scutcheon on the 48K has seen better days. Now, I don't know what you have to do to a Spectrum to get it to end up looking like this. I mean, what on earth did the previous owner do? Put it in the tumble dryer? Look at the mess of it. However, it works perfectly. So, basically, um, once I get the each machine fully restored, which I will be doing over the coming week, starting tomorrow, um, I will be keeping the 48K, like I say, which should look shop new once I'm finished with it, and I'm really looking forward to, to having a fully working Spectrum again. So once I get the 48K1 fully restored, you should be seeing a lot more ZX Spectrum videos from me in the future. Now I do also have everything I could need to restore all three Spectrums. The pristine keypad and scutcheon on this board. 
also got a spare escutcheon. Unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's a modern made one. I mean, it is good. But the, the print isn't quite as bold as it is on the real thing. Which is why I'm hoping to preserve both the 16K escutcheon and this keyboard escutcheon. This for the 48K and keep the 16K one on the original machine. So this will be kept as a spare in the meantime. I've also got replacement screws, plenty of replacement feet for the spectrums. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Now I've already replaced the internal membranes in both the 16K and 48K cases. Basically because that's the most common problem with ZX Spectrums is that the internal membrane goes. You get this corrosion around the ribbons and they just stop working. Now I am also going to replace the internal membrane of the 48K model. I've got a brand new modern made membrane ready to go. right here. Now, now these things are very good. Um, they will last for years. They're much more sturdy than the original membranes that came with the machines. So if you want to know how to replace the metal escutcheon, the rubber keys or indeed the membrane of a ZX Spectrum, stay tuned because I'm going to do this as a tutorial to teach people how to replace the basically the entire keyboard structure of a ZX Spectrum causing no damage to the escutcheon. I've also got a spare membrane just in case um, and I like to keep as many Spectrum spare parts lying around as I can because as anyone who watches my videos often will know I am Spectrum mad. Even the titles I use at the beginning of my videos and the thanks for watching thing at the end is quite frequently the ZX Spectrum font. So that's the project. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see how it goes.